I'm feeling the time lapse. How about you? Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode of Design Talk, I wanted to share this design that I came up with uh, for mounting a camera to the bed of my CR10. So this mount should work for most larger printers. Give it a try out before you run with it first because one of the things this piece has to clear the gantry, well actually both this and the camera have to clear the gantry, so it takes a little bit of a bigger printer. So I use this uh, on both my Alpha Ys and my CR10. It's a little bit too big for some of my 200 by 200 millimeter printers uh, possibly you could downsize it but anyways this is where this video is focused at and this design so one of the things I wanted to get a different perspective on time-lapse and I'll be running one up in the corner so you can kind of see what does it look like most cameras are set up for time lapses that face the bed head-on sort of like this but I wanted a different perspective, so I thought, why not put it on the corner? Because one of the things, um, I am a bit of a semi-professional fine arts photographer, and one of the tricks when you're into fine arts photography is you, you need to have some sort of, um, you know, a lot of people would call it a gimmick. I don't like calling it a gimmick, but um, maybe an angle. And more so with me, angles are sort of my thing. One of the things when I take a fine art, you know, image, I take it in an angle so it messes with the brain. Because, for example, if I'm taking a picture of water, I, I twist the image so it looks like the water is running uphill. Because your mind, you know, your frontal cortex knows, hey, this picture is tilted, but in the back of your mind, you're going, hey, this water is running uphill. This can't be. So it messes with your mind. So the idea is running this on the corner of your bed. You know, as this is going back and forth, the object is staying stationary, as you can see in the video up there. But what's happening is be your vision is moving at a 45 degree angle. So I thought it created a rather unique effect, if not maybe even <laughs> a little bit unsettling, if you will. Uh, because again, your brain is, is looking at this going, I know this is facing straight on. Why is it moving at a 45 degree angle? So this is sort of a double duty design talk. So again, not only did I come up with a cool design that cinches this to the bed of, of a 3D printer because basically what's happening is I'm using these nylon quarter 20s which I'm super fond of uh, both to hold the camera on and one to cinch to the bed now I've printed this out of PET G uh, because it is connecting to the bed and I don't like ABS and so PET G stands up to the heat plus really the biggest area that's maybe coming in contact is actually the bottom here because I've made enough lip here that really it's just the quarter 20 bolt nylon bolt coming into contact so you really don't have a heat issue and I've designed it so the bed pokes out here but I've also put in these filleted brackets back here to make this very stable now I do print this with um, uh, I did this with a 0.6 nozzle and so three shells so basically each each uh, surface is 1.2 millimeters so this thing is super strong it's not moving going anywhere and plus it's PETG on top of it so anyways I've been pretty happy with this design and, and the piece is you can possibly and again you really have to check the clearance of your 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 printer itself before actually attaching this but on mine I can put it on opposing corners so they two can look at each other um, and I can switch back and forth so I can do a lot of neat things with this so again, the idea is to inspire you with design ideas, design thinking, so you guys can go out there and design your own products. You can come up with your own ideas. You can potentially start your own businesses. You can solve your own problems by using design thinking, looking at what was my challenge. My challenge was I wanted you know, better time-lapse videos. And the second piece of the challenge, I wanted something a little bit more unique than just, hey, the same old, same old. And what did I do? I had to Fusion 360. I designed this up, and now I have the solution. Again, as I harp on, you know, from design to part creation, it's getting shorter and shorter, folks. And especially with a lot of the new metal sintering and newer uh, metal technologies or 3D printing additive technologies coming out, we're really, really going to see an industrial boom in this for a lot of different things coming probably in the next three years, maybe even shorter. 
But anyways, hopefully you found this uh, video interesting, inspiring. If you did, definitely hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. Also, thanks for staying around to the end of the video because if you don't, YouTube punishes me. And uh, hey, the bell button's coming up over there. Uh, please hit it so you're notified when I put out new content just like this. Oh, this will be out on Thingiverse, by the way, if I forgot to mention that. Swag Shop's up in the corner, and we'll see you guys. What? What? Wait, 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 wait. You're not a subscriber? Hit Pony up to the bar, folks. Hit that uh, subscribe button. I put out regular content, have a ton of playlists. I cover a lot of topics, so do me that one favor. And tell you what, we'll see you in the next video where we design something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all.